Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here, and today I'm going to share with you my project life for week 29. Yes, I know we're in the 40s now, but I am still trying to share and catch up. And I didn't realize I actually had like four videos recorded. I got so behind on Project Life, and now I have like four videos that I'm ready to share with you guys um, as soon as I get them narrated. So there will be a ton of Project Life very, very soon. I printed off more pictures recently, and so I'm just going to be really catching up. And I'm determined this time. I'm not going to get so behind that at the end of the year, I'm in January and still working on 2014. So... Um, I have no idea what kits I'm working with. My kits have gotten all mixed up since I've been so behind, so I have no idea. I just know that they're Studio Calico. So, um, I do know that that card there on the left is a Teresa Collins um, Studio Gold kit, and I wasn't really impressed with that kit after I got it, even though I've been loving the gold. A lot of the golds in that collection were tan, um, kind of, and the glitter was kind of flaking off, so... I was kind of bummed about that kit after all. But anyway, and then I just stamped Noted, and that's one of the new Heidi Swap Project Life stamps. So, that was just a really quick, quick little um, stamp to add it onto some journaling onto that card. And I'll include a link down below of that Teresa Collins um, kit, because I did a review on it and I shared all the cards in there so if it's something that you might be interested in you know of course I will share it with you so I'll include a link down below um, in case you like that you want to check out more of that kit so one problem that I've noticed is since I'm working with multiple kits because I'm behind that I do a lot more shuffling because normally I just keep one kit and then I'll kind of like go back and forth between what's on my desk and what's in the kit but having multiple kits I'm just looking for something more and I don't know why and um, I should just be satisfied with one kit but I've been mixing and matching quite a bit lately so this week I decided I needed an insert even though I did a whole mini album about the fair um, when it came to town I still decided that I needed to do an insert for this week um, just because I feel like my project life and my um, mini albums are kind of separate. You might see one and not the other. Or what if one got destroyed someday and the other didn't? <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind of corny, but I just wanted to include the pictures. Um, I do this a lot where I'll make... I'll print off a picture and it'll be in a layout and then it'll also be in my project life because that's just the way I like to incorporate them in. So I really like that fun in the sun cutout. That was from, I think, a Studio Calico um, cut file. But I just wanted to back it on a card. And I also kind of wanted the card to um, possibly show through on the other side. So that's one consideration that I had. And I'm just going through some of the letter stickers and seeing how I want to embellish some of my photos. So on this one, I just decided to put BFF because um, my best friend and I ran into each other near the tilt world I was just going to go on it by myself because um, my husband didn't want to go. Um, but she ran into me, so we just decided to hop on together. So I really like that Good Times card. Um, it's, I think, from the Open Road collection, as well as being part of the Studio Calico kit. Um, and I like the little arrow so it could point, point the other way. Those are from the Heidi Swap Glitter Value Pack, or Value Kit, but I really like that set. The glitter is really, it's not as, like, I don't know, it's like a fine glitter, and so it sticks really, really well, um, so I just really, really like the glitter set. So I'm just going to kind of pop all the things in there. I'm not being very picky and I'm not embellishing a ton because remember at this point I was probably like six weeks behind and now I think I'm about 10 weeks behind so um yeah I wasn't being fussy at all and so this is when I decided to flip the whole thing over 
I know it's kind of weird but I just decided to flip all the pictures over and put them in the same like orientation but I just wanted them flipped over and I don't remember exactly what my reasoning was for that I don't I, I honestly just don't remember <laughs> but I do remember doing that uh, I tell you having surgery has really just knocked me for a loop it's been so long since I made some of these videos and so long to get caught back up and uh, even like I'm not even gonna go into like how scared I am to get my bill cuz I just can't even think about that right now I'm just trying to focus on keeping my energy up and just going back to work and stuff so anyway and of course catching up with scrapbooking cuz that is a top priority that frame is also from Studio Calico. Basically all my cut files are from Studio Calico. I have a few that I purchased from the Silhouette store, but they're they're pretty much all Studio Calico. I just really like their designs. Um, so I just glued that on top of the photo. It says sunshine, but that's my best friend's little boy, and he, I don't know, he's just a little ray of sunshine. He's so cute, and... He was laying there and just goofing off, and he was saying, help me, Kelsey, help me. <laughs> so I just thought it was really cute, so I had to take a picture of him. So that was, um, that fun in the sun is a way that I used one of those envelopes, or pockets, I guess you would say. They came in one of the Studio Calico kits, and I didn't really know what to do with them, because I'm like, it's a pocket, and you're putting it in a pocket. So it, it kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> I feel like when you put things in the pockets, they're not very interactive. Like, I don't feel like you can pull them out and mess with them very much because those pockets are going to get looser and they're, you know, they can get ripped really easily. So I don't really do anything interactive. Even in my regular layouts, it's kind of hard to do that because you know that they're going to go into a 12 by 12 page protector. Um, I like to make a lot of interactive elements in my mini albums. So... I I thought the pockets were cute. I just thought they would have been better in a scrapbook kit or even a card kit. Um, but I liked that I could back that fun in the sun on that yellow stripe one and it, it worked really, really well. And these little washy circles, I like them, but they practically disappear on the photo. They're almost too see-through, too thin. Um, so I'm I'm kind of loving them, hating them at the moment. Um, but anyway, here, there's more of the glitter kit. That was one of those things that was just, I knew I wanted to use it and get some of my Project Life stash used up. So I've been really trying to prioritize using some of my stash as well as my regular um, Studio Calico kits. So that pretty much finishes that. I'm going to journal on one of the cards um, in that little insert. But if I'm doing a 4x6 card, I try not to journal during the video, and then sometimes I forget to go back and do the journaling. So that's been kind of a problem I've had lately, but um, I'm going to get better about that. And then I'm just going to use these foil stickers, silver foil stickers, and just put 29, and that's basically going to be my week. And that's about going to wrap this week up. So thanks so much for watching.